up guys so if you guys want to skip the gameplay and go right to build skip to the number displayed on the screen or if you guys want to if you guys are gonna watch the gameplay keep in mind you know I'm I recently just switched from PS4 to PC so I'm not the best but you know I'm still out here smacking so yeah God that the brothers on the rise now. Yellow celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. London boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. Yeah. And for quitting, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my brothers still humongous. You were thinking that happens in that. Damn man, I'm all that. Yeah, I'm all that. I'm all that. Working for that whip. Yeah, that what you call that. I'ma blow up in the summer, have him yelling for. Stats, yo. Woo. Everybody wanna do the same thing. Yup. That's why we ain't on the same page. Yo. Do my own thing and I maintain. Woo. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah. What's up guys, so today I just brought you guys kind of an off meta type of AR build and what I mean by off, off uh, meta is usually people run, you know, Berserk, I mean yeah, Berserk right there, Clutch right here, or you know, Safeguard and you know, usually people run LMGs or Vectors, right, because that's the uh, meta right now, so today I just want to bring you guys kind of like a nice off meta AR build that you know still melts and that I've had fun with usually builds that I bring I have fun with them and that's why I bring them I don't really look at other people's you know beat build videos and build their build I just uh, I never did that I just never looked at anyone build videos like usually I just look for the gameplay and yeah I mean I never really look at the builds but I've been having fun with this build I know it's, it's not really done, but I'm gonna be showing you guys, you know, how to change it to make it better. And 
Yeah, so first we're gonna start with a specialist. So as you guys can see, I'm running a survivalist. You guys can run sharpshooter. I know a lot of people run sharpshooter for the AR accuracy or you know, the sniper, but it's an AR build. So usually people are running for the uh, AR accuracy or stability. But I really choose, I would really recommend survivalist because survivalist gives you that 15% increase so sorry for damage so you know you get that 15 percent of sorry for damage so that's good and you also get triage which is 15 percent increased outgoing heal so that kind of acts like um critical save in division one so it kind of gives you you know that outgoing heal in division one when you pop a med kit it would give you you know heal over time so in division two Triage will be the uh, critical save from Division One. It gives you that 15% increase outgoing heal. So yeah, there's uh, also you know distribute, repair, all this stuff. But yeah, so let's just kind of jump into the build, and I'm gonna be showing you guys. So as you guys can see, it's a nine red. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, whoa, you know, nine red. What do you mean? But look, so it's a nine red, four blue, and four yellow. So. For my AR, I don't really have the best ARs. I don't know what it is with my luck. I, I can never get a good AR. I don't know why, but anyway, so I'm running the P416, 18.3K base damage. If he was normalized, it would be around 7.6, probably, right? Yeah, it will be around 7.6, but 750 RPM, and I have 40 in my mag, obviously. So for my talent, for, for my first talent, I have close and personal, which is killing a target within seven meters grants plus 50% weapon damage for five seconds. And the reason why I chose this is because five or more, you know. I could have really chose Optimist, which is I think I have it right here on my sniper. Yeah, so Optimist. I could have chose Optimist, which is weapon damage is increased by three percent for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. So Optimist is pretty good, but it's five or less and I have nine so I, I don't really see a way I can make it work so yeah so I just I just chose close and personal which is killing a target within seven meters grants plus 50 percent weapon damage for five seconds so yeah that's why I chose it because it's five five or more now for my secondary I'm running not secondary for my second talent I'm running accuracy I mean accurate which is 15 percent accuracy now I don't really I mean, if you're on PS4, then accuracy would be pretty good, but if you're on PC, then I don't really see the point of running accuracy. I know you can run, instead of accuracy, you can probably run something like uh, Allegro, which let me show you guys what Allegro does, if I can find it over here. Uh, no, it's not, it's on my P416, right? Yeah, so Allegro right here, which is 10% rate of fire. So I would really choose that because it gives me, you know, that that rate of fire. So instead of accuracy, I would probably choose uh, Allegro for the uh, rate of fire. And for my third talent, I have double duty, which is when you holster it and then you and then you roll from an empty clip, it's gonna give you 20% of your magazine bag, which is actually pretty helpful because I find myself reloading when I still have 15 bullets left. It's just muscle memory, is, you know. I have 40 bullets so you know I'm I, I think I'm out of bullets but I actually have 15 more and that's that 20% actually really helps so yeah for my secondary I'm running a charter box I know you guys are gonna roast me for running a 490 score I don't know why I cracked it as a 490 score I don't know what I was thinking I just rushed into it but yeah I'm pretty a lot of people have the 500 I know I'm gonna get roasted but I don't really care so Charter box is the best to run for your secondary, as you guys can see. For the, uh, it's, it's, it's basically for the last talent, the uh, blabber mouth, which is a holster reloading your weapon within five seconds after a kill grants 20% rate of fire for 10 seconds. And for this, it has seven. For my uh, P416, it has 750 RPM, and you can really notice when it goes up. It goes up to like I think eight. 800 rpm so you can really notice it if you're running something like uh, the c tar now that you can really notice the uh, rpm is pretty high so uh, 
you can kind of notice it on the P416, but we all know the P416 is one of the best ARs out there. If not, it is the best uh, AR out there. So, yeah. So get into my uh, mask. As you guys can see, it's a Murakami mask, which gives me 8% health. And for my attributes, I have 6,873 health and I have 144 skill power. And I have self-adjusting for my talent, which gives me 20% armor regeneration, which actually helps a lot. I find myself, you know, really dependent on this 20% armor regeneration. So yeah, uh, for my chest, yeah, I'm running in Providence and 5% weapon damage and 8% health, of course. So for my attributes, I have 8.5% headshot damage. On console, you don't really want to go for headshot damage, you want to go for, you know, something else. But don't go for headshot damage on console unless you have like super god aim. But on PC, you obviously want to go to, you know, headshot damage. And I have 7.5% weapon damage. Now you you just you you want to stack up on weapon damage. That, that's what does the most damage for ARs. I mean, on SMGs you can go you know create damage and create chance. You can still do a lot, but on ARs, create damage and create chance don't really matter. Which which brings us to my next point. I have 5.5 percent create damage, and that does not matter. I wanted to go for health right here, but uh, it's whatever you know. So talent, I have. Two, I have capacitive, which is 20% skill duration. Now I don't, I don't even, I don't have uh, anything that I can roll to get this one now. And so for my offensive mod, as you guys can see, I have 1.5% weapon damage and 2% assault for damage, 1% damage to health. And for my secondary uh, mod, I have 2,274 health with 9% health region and 8% skill health. So this first one is pretty good because it gives me the 2% AR damage and the 1.5% weapon damage. So yeah. So get into my holster. Uh, as you guys can see, it's a Providence 2, 7.5% uh, crit hit damage. Which, like I said, crit damage does not do anything with ARs. Maybe a little bit crit hit damage and crit chance don't really matter on ARs. And I have 279 skill power. And for my offensive mod, I have 2% weapon damage and 3% optimum range and 1.5% headshot damage, which is, you know, a pretty good one. And for my backpack, I don't know why I would say a book bag, but for my backpack, it's a Gila. As you guys can see, 5% total armor and 9,144 bonus armor with 3.5% weapon damage and 3% crit damage. I want to change that crit damage for health so bad, but I can't. And for my talent, I have efficient. I know I can go for safeguard, but I wouldn't even be able to unlock safeguard because I think it's like five or less with safeguard. And I have nine, nine reds, so I can't really go for safeguard anyway. So I chose efficient. Using an armor kit has a 50% chance to, to not consume the armor kit. So when you pop a med kit it's not really gonna consume it and yeah it doesn't really require anything it just requires you not to run uh, you know any other uh, armor kit talent so for my secondary talent I have Harden which is 10% armor I know I can go vital which gives me the 20% health but I, I don't really care about that I just care about the 10% uh, armor for my for my mod this doesn't really matter, I just want the first one which is 2,816 bonus armor. And the rest are just kind of there, 7% uh, burn resistance and 16% shock resistance. I don't really care about those. And yeah, so get into my gloves. Uh, it's got 20.4k armor for my attributes. The first one doesn't, I don't really need the first one which is 132% uh, percent skill power which I don't really need and I have 5% five, 5 Asari for damage and so yeah that's that's pretty good I have the 5% Asari for damage talent capacitive again skill duration you know I could have changed for something else over there but uh, it's whatever you guys can really you know choose what you guys want to run over here so get into my knee pads 
I'm a uh, Fender Sneak Badge, 10% on sorry for damage. And for my attributes, which is cooldown reduction, the only thing you can really choose is cooldown reduction and crit hit damage. So I, you know, I could have went for crit hit damage, but it's, it's whatever. I have cooldown reduction. And for my talent, I have restorative, which is plus 10 health on kill. So when you kill someone, you want that health on kill because this is, you know, this is Division 2. It's not like Division 1 where you can just pop a medkit when you get a fortress by so many people. So I really like running health on kill because it gives me that, you know, it gives me that, that uh, health. So patience, after being in cover for 3 seconds, armor repairs by 5% every 1 second. I don't really care about patience, you know, it's, it's just there, you know. I could have I could have changed it, but it's just there. So, yeah, showing you my mods. So, as you guys know, for ARs, crit damage and crit chance don't matter. So, you obviously want to go for, you know, accuracy, stability, headshot damage. So, on my AR, I'm running T2 micro red dot sight, so which gives me plus 10% accuracy, and I have and I have that 10% uh, around for the light extended uh, mag, and I have on my grip I have 10% accuracy, and for my muzzle, I have optimum range. Yeah, I have optimum range. So yeah. That's basically the build, and now I'm going to be showing you guys kind of, you know, my talent. So as you guys can see, 18,334 weapon damage, 0% crit hit chance, and 41% crit hit damage. Now, you guys can go a little bit more headshot damage. Don't don't really care about the crit hit damage and crit hit chance. That does not matter. It's just the headshot damage. You guys can go for more than 65. It doesn't really matter. For me, you know, I don't really... I don't even hit that much head because I'm new to PC and all that. And so, um, as you guys can see, all weapon damage bonuses, 19.5%. And I have 32%, oh, sorry, for uh, bonus damage. So as you guys can see, that's pretty high. You know, that's pretty good right there. It really melts 23%, oh, sorry for damage, all 19%. 0.5% all weapon damage, so that really melts right there. So, yeah, um, there's nothing really else to show. Uh, I'm running a drone, defensive drone, and you know, a cam launcher, which is you know the, the usual people really run. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is kind of like the first time having a face cam, you know, whatever, bro. Fuck it, right? So I just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, a different side to builds, to bring you kind of a different build. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Make sure you guys turn on your post notifications to see all my videos when they go live. And make sure to click that like button. And yeah, peace. I will be bringing uh, a PVE build just to help you guys because I know the level four and level 5 control points are just hard so I'm gonna be bringing kind of a PVE build to help you guys out and yeah make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you subscribe peace